in Bank of America Stadium here in Charlotte. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Carolina Panthers. the kicker Jake Elliott ready to get this one started and off we go from uptown Charlotte and that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone so we will start here at the 25 a run by Foreman to start the drive and he's got room. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That one good for 33 and a first. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Again, it's Foreman. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Corral on second down. They'll run the screen with Hubbard. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. So first and second down with the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. says this will be incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. down. Here's Corral. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. And the Panthers turned away on fourth down. And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's got a man complete. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. A very early momentum changer there. Actually a dream killer for the defense because they forced a third down. Felt like they had a good chance to get off the field defensively. And then they got hit with that big play. On first down, Hurts. That's into the hands of Pascal. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Ball at the 23, second and eight. Throwing his hurts. Got him in, it's Brown. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. They will run for the first time with Miles Sanders. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Play action. Here's Hertz. This will be caught just inside the ten. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Hurt sets up to throw it. And that is incomplete. The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the back. There's a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage. And that throw had no shot. 
So Hurts is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. The kick by Elliott is good. And the Eagles, they take a 3-0 lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side. Their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, Parker. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so. But maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. Here's second and nine. Corral looking to pass, second down. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. LaVisca Chenault, the intended target. But now it'll be third down. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Third down, here's Corral. And Thomas has it. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Fourth down, here's Corral. Able to complete this to Chenault. And he's going to have the Panthers first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Carry for Foreman. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. On second down, here's a run with Hubbard. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. They'll go for it on fourth. Here's Corral. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and ten on their side of midfield at the 47. Being chased out left. Forced out to his left. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. He'll get three yards on the scramble there and second down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And I think the ball's out. And this will get out of bounds. Possession. Second quarter, two minutes remain. Three nothing, our score. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And they'll get this across midfield, but not nearly close to a first down as it stopped at the 48. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. Hurts. 
That's to his running back complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Buying time to his left. And once again, this is Sanders. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and 10. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield, go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. To throw on second and 10, Hurts. Hurts fumbles it, and it's picked up by the Panthers. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. On first down, it's Corral. Taking a shot here for Marshall. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. On second down, here's Corral. And he will find the open man. It's D.J. Moore. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. They'll send Marshall in motion left. tight end in motion left. To the air again, here's Corral. He's going to look deep for more. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Eagles are going to take possession here at their own 47 yard line. They brought the house that time on the young rookie, maybe a little rattled through the pick. And you have to be prepared for a lot of pressure as a rookie quarterback because most defensive coordinators are going to test you that way. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. To try again after the sack, Hurts. That swung out wide to Sanders. And not much happening there. He's taken down, but a late penalty flag in the backfield. Now this looks like a roughing call. So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. Here's Hurts to throw. And he'll throw this one away. But I don't think he was out of the pocket. No, here comes the flag. Yeah, he hadn't gotten far enough away from the pocket to throw that football away, and that draws the flag. Yeah, the old tackle box, right? Get outside of each tackle, and then you can go ahead and throw it away, and you're in good shape. But if you're back there in the pocket, you got to make sure of what you're doing. They lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. 
These offenses seemingly still back at the hotel for the first half. 3 nothing our score as the second half gets underway. This taken in at the goal line. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. They'll look to throw here. Under pressure, and they got to him again. So after that sack, goes to the Eagles. Tough spot here. Third and long. Looking to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't come back. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Nearly a huge return as it is. Still a very good one. 24 yards, and it will be the Panthers' ball, first and 10. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally, because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. Corral's throw here into the hands of Moore. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Here's Corral on first down. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. The goal is certainly to try and make a big play happen and climb back into this game, but you have to be careful. If you overdo it, you could turn it over and hurt your team. And some room to work. Foreman, 44 yards, and the Panthers have taken the lead here this third quarter. Pinheiro's extra point up and good, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. They'll come out throwing here on first down. But that's complete to Sanders. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. It was a solid check down there with pressure coming, wasn't it? It was because you're trying to go through your progression. And when you have that type of pressure in your face, it changes what you're doing and how fast you have to do your reads. And able to come back and find him in open space, that's a really nice play. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. He'll look to throw. And he fires one, it's intercepted. It's Shaq Thompson here with a pick. And the Panthers are going to take possession of the football. A lot of bodies there in the middle of the field, and that one intercepted. 
Yeah, he's looking for his tight end running a drag route across the field. And normally, you'd like him to work a little bit further outside. Here the throws a little early, and it winds up in the hands of the defender. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Here. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. tired bodies on that field but this is a big play third and goal more the man in motion now on third and long they'll look to throw now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete and he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A terrific job there to keep him out of the end zone. And now it'll be fourth and goal. Now there certainly was a lot going on on that play. Every option in the end zone covered. No place to go with the ball. Had to swing it out to the back. A good job running and getting him tackled in the open field. Fourth down. Corral looking to throw it. Touchdown! Thomas, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Panthers are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. Pinheiro's extra play up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Now the pressure comes, and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Throwing on second and long. Hurts. Dancing to his left. Going deep here for Watkins. Oh, that's in a double coverage and intercepted. And Xavier wins with a pick. And the Panthers will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. 